Welcome back, everybody. This is the DSC hacking. Building the pressure cell. This is where we left off. Now on to the next phase. So, eh, it's not edited as, as well as I'd like, but hey, it's a short one. Enjoy. I'm just going to film the whole thing. All right, so let me briefly explain to what I did. I went ahead and drilled all these at the same time and then read, uh, re-drilled these with a bigger hole while it was all still set up and then threaded the bottom plate. So the bottom plate is threaded, the top plate has holes in it, and then of course the top plate are going to get flange nuts. So yeah, a little bit of debarring, but I am very pleased with that so far.
Alrighty then, so let's have a look real quick. So I made this Teflon ring, and it is kind of hard to see, but it has a little groove in it. And what that's for is I want to take this O-ring, if the camera will focus. So I want to take this O-ring, and I want to be able to put it on this Teflon ring and then I want to be able to put that inside there to hold my ring in the right place and then when I put this on I know the ring is exactly in the right spot same thing with the other one now they do make Teflon rings Teflon um, is inside of the rubber. However, probably a lot more expensive, so yeah. This does the job really well. Now this one fits tight and it is the lid. So I do not want it to fall out every time I take the lid off. So now we have an O-ring holder. Simple as that think outside the box sometimes. Speaking of thinking outside the box, sometimes you just gotta get a little creative. Yes, that's a razor blade clamped onto my tool post. And it works like a charm. Oh yeah, well, you know, short and sweet, but hopefully you enjoyed. I think the next one's gonna be even more fun. I like it. It's pretty well edited, so we'll see it soon. All right, God bless, have a good day. Let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, share, like, subscribe, all the things I never say. See ya.